So the idea was to create uh, like a tower in this shape, right? If you notice, the first one has only one. So let's say, let's, let, let's look at it as floors. The top floor has one. And after one, we have two squares. And three. And then four. So this looks like if it's going in a certain order, in a sequence. So right away, we can tell that we're talking about loops. <coughs> So I'm going to create here a division. With ID, I don't know, some kind of uh, canvas. That's where I'm going to draw my, my tower, let's say. So on JavaScript, I will need a function. And the function will um, generate this tower. So basically, I need a loop. And the loop will start at position 0. All the way to the number of floors that I want to build. So let's have this function. I'm going to name it. The create tower will get a parameter then which will be the number of floors right so then my loop will go from i all the way to the number of floors i plus plus one by one incrementing one i by one okay <coughs> So now let's say that I have <coughs> some variable uh, floor <coughs> with a division. I'm going to give it a class. Okay. And then um, if I add some styling here I can create that class floor give it a shape Um, background okay and maybe some margin around it so we can see the edges of it so margin of I don't know five pixels all right so there you go there's just a simple um, class if I actually take the division and put it straight on HTML, I should be able to see that shape. So there it is, right? <coughs> okay. So with a loop, we're going to create many of these, one by one. So if I start by saying, from I position zero all the way to the number of floors and I just insert so let's say document dot get element by ID and this was canvas dot inner HTML plus equal floor so I'm going to keep on inserting new floors in on, the, on, in, on each loop. I'm going to insert a new floor, right? So if I do that, let's say that I call 
create tower on a button here on click I'll call my function and I want to start by looking at five floors right so this is gonna parse number five floors is equal to number five and the loop will go from zero all the way to five right so let's see start one, two, three, four, five. So it means that I have my floors. But now each floor has different has a certain number of blocks, right? The first one has one, the second one has two, the third one three. Right? So right now I am only achieving do this but it means that on each floor I have to repeat again the first time I repeat one the second one I repeat two the third time I repeat three times and the fourth four so I need a nested loop inside the loop I will need another loop to generate each block so inside this loop I will need another loop now this time I'm gonna give another variable when we're working with nested loops you have to give different variables let's say J or K equals 0 while K is smaller than floors K plus plus Okay, now I have to change something on my JavaScript. I need to make them float left so I can see them one beside the other. So float left. And if you agree with me, every time they float, for example, this one here, float left, there's nothing after, I have to clear float. Right? Float left, float left, clear float. Float left, float left, float left, clear float. So at the end of each one of them, I have to clear float. So I'm going to create a class here, clear float. Okay. So, so we said that at the end of each inner loop, I clear float, right? So once I'm done with my inner loop, then I have to insert another division, let's say division clear float which has a class clear float let me just check if that's the way I wrote it yep so every time I add a division clear float not sorry here I have to sorry so th my, my mistake so the, the error the problem is that okay the first time I do it once the second time I, I do it twice the third time I do it three times so I'm actually going on the position of I you see so the first time I do it zero well while k is smaller or equal to i 
So the first time i is zero, then k is zero. Is k smaller or equal to i? Yes, it is the same. It will print only once. Second time i will be one, so it's going to start at zero, print one, at, at one, print another one, at two, will not continue, will go to the next, the next loop, so on and so forth. I show you here instead of floor I'm gonna take floor put it here and add K So zero, zero one, zero one two, zero one two three. So what I, I added k and k is giving me the value of the inner loop. 